I was looking for a project. Um, I've had my eye on a few different projects prior to finding this one. A potential barn conversion. I looked at a warehouse possibility in Birmingham. I had my eye out on something that had a decent amount of internal space, something that I could make into an open plan home. This one just came up by accident really, found it on right move. So this was originally a Methodist church. Um, it was in a poor state of repair. They were getting about four or five people coming on a Sunday. So it, was, it was, wasn't really being used. Um, in terms of the building's condition, it was in an absolute state. Um, it had dry rot. Um, there were mushrooms growing up to waist height in parts of the building. Um, enough to put off most people actually. I think that was why I was able to get the building at such a decent deal, because it, it's enough to put off a lot of people. As you come in through the front door, um, you'll see some of the original features of the church. So there's the organ, which was the facade of which was rebuilt. There's the pews. There's the internal wooden organ pipes that are a feature wall in the, in the lounge. Uh, there's the lectern, um, which is just a, a feature just by the front door. As many of the original windows as possible were retained, so all the timber windows in the front of the building and in the rear of, of the building were the um, original metal framed crittle windows. Now those are quite, um, quite tricky windows to work with on a renovation because they're quite slim framed. So I had to introduce slim line double glazing to get those um, compliant with the regs. I had the place stripped out um, at the same time as getting the designs and drawings done for planning permission. There's a risk in doing that. You know, you've got to have an idea, a pretty clear idea of what you're able to do with a building when you start stripping things out. But I was on quite a tight time scale. I wanted to get this done really quickly. I mean, I started doing the, the, the deconstruction work pretty much straight away. And at the same time, started engaging with the local architect to get the planning drawings done. To try and turn an open plan church building into, um, into a livable space, uh, there was a lot of structural work that had to be done. Quite a bit of structural steel to support the, um, the mezzanine floor. The groundworks, there was a fair bit of work had to be done in terms of rerouting services um, under floor um, and also to bring up the, the floor level to the right height so the whole floor level had to be screeded and within the screed was buried under floor heating. That was an important part of modernising the building in terms of making it more efficient and making it uh, livable. That's the way of getting the heat into the building. The important thing then is to stop the heat from escaping the building. I've measured over a square kilometre of insulation has had to go into this building. The floor was insulated, all the internal walls were insulated, all the walls, the ceiling. So one of my favourite parts of the house is actually the balcony where I spend a lot of time working at a computer at a desk. I don't really want to be enclosed inside a room, um, so I thought I'd put the study area in the balcony, right in the heart of the building, uh, with really good views um, inside and out through the windows as well. I love the kitchen. I love the kitchen diner, the way that's worked out. Um, being able to spend time with my family in the kitchen cooking with them, eating with them. It's just an extra place for my children to look at screens and ignore me.